نحمد و نسل على رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير الحمد لله with the mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today we are together for another beautiful beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our journey together to learn al asma ul husna Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa lillahi al asma ul husna fad'uhu biha so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us that we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with these beautiful names and find the tranquility and peace in our hearts knowing uh, his attributes in details alhamdulillah so a very very warm welcome and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah that we are able to sit together and reflect on some lessons learned together and I hope we can grab our Asma ul Husna journals and see that how this name is impacting my life and what are some key action items that we take away. Isn't this beautiful Sisa Tabassum that we were talking that more than anybody I think it helps us ourselves when we reflect in these beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, we are helping ourselves more than, you know, helping others. We are trying to help others, but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So we ask Allah, Allahumma inni nas'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan tayyibah wa amalam mutaqabbala. We ask Allah uh, to increase us in beneficial knowledge, a provision which is pure, and that Allah make it when we meet him. And today's name is so beautiful. Today we are reflecting on a beautiful, beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Al-Hakam. And uh, so, such a beautiful name um, that can resolve so many of our life's mysteries and troubles and issues. Once we realize that he is Allah Al-Hakam, the judge, the giver of judge, justice and the arbitrator. So, inshallah, Sister Tabassum, looking forward to benefit uh, from these beautiful, beautiful ayahs of Quran together and uh, see how this name can put us so much at ease in our lives, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. So, yeah, we are reading, alhamdulillah, the attribute, the name we are reading today is Al-Hakam, the judge. He is the judge, the giver of justice. He is Al-Hakam. He is Al-Hakim, as we are going to read more. We will know how he judges. And uh, as you said earlier, once we realize that he's the only one who is judging us in every matter of life, not some matters, every matter of our life, it, it, it makes our life easy and we feel comfortable that our Lord is Al-Hakam. So the root letters for this is Hakam is Ha, Ka, and Me. In, in it occurs 210 times in the Noble Quran in 13 derived forms. Al-Hakam, Hakamim. So as we see, as we go ahead, yeah, the word Hakam, the Hikmah, al just all those words from, comes from the root letter Hakam. So our Lord is Al-Hakam and Hakam means, refers to the totally totality of Allah's power to judge and arbitrate with perfect justice. And this book which he has sent to us, about which he said, the Noble Quran, well, I think our screen is playing around with us. So we are back to the um, uh, Al-Hakam, defining Al-Hakam. Right. He's the one. Yeah, yeah, subhanAllah. And I was just like, you know, looking at this, like, subhanAllah, 210 times. Sometimes we can just go through these verses and their meanings by themselves. And this is so incredible to see the, the, the yes. variety uh, of mm -hmm. knowledge that we get uh, knowing Al-Hakam. Because usually we, yes. we are more familiar with words like Hukam and Hakim, <coughs> Hakim. Yeah. And so Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he is Al-Hakam, the one whose judgment and decrees are never overturned. Nobody can overturn his judgment. And he is the one who makes the final decision of, of the nature of all matters. In all the matters, 
his decision is the final decision. We sometimes say, oh, it's my final decision. Well, it's not our final decision. It is always his decision. He is the one who arbitrates all disputes and always delivers justice. <clears throat> Excuse me. In every situation, not only in this world, he is al-hakam, the judge, the giver of justice on the day of judgment. You know, and only he is the one who, who can, whom we can trust that he will deliver the justice. Uh, fa with fa with fairness, with fairness, you know, and um, he whenever he passes a verdict, and um, that is final. It is a final verdict from him, you know, and it, all his verdicts and decisions are very wisely made, and um, it helps us, you know. It sometimes if he makes some decision for us, and we think. Why? Why is this done for us at that time? Allah is preventing us or restraining us from wrongdoing. Maybe we, it was a final decision to do something not good, something not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we said, this is a final decision that this way we are will do this. Then he sends his final decision and everything changes. We do get disappointed. Why this happened, you know, we thought everything was under control. But if we realize he is Al-Hakam and Al-Hakim, as we are going to read further. And, you know, most of the time, if sometimes if we reflect, we come to know it was for our best. We were doing something wrong. He prevented us from doing something wrong. And this is the book which he has revealed to us. Allah said, Kitabun Ohkemat Ayatu Summa Fusilat Miladun Hakim in Khabir. This is a book whose verses are perfected and then presented in detail. Fusilat Miladun from one who is Hakim, the wise. The wise Khabir that quented. You know, only first thing if we comprehend on this verse. What is this teaching us? The greatness of this book, the Quran, that Allah perfected his, its verses and then presented in detail. And he is the one who is wise, Hakim and Khabir, and acquainted. Introduction of Allah as Hakim, as the wisest. And the book is perfected. Okay, mat, you know. So, he is our Lord. And as we go ahead and see uh, different verses of the Noble Quran to understand the word Al-Hakam, so we go to the ayat here. It is about Hikmah, the wisdom. He said, uh, this and this person is so intelligent, so wise, you know. Whom do we call wise? The one whose decisions are beneficial the one who sees ahead, you know, no, don't do this, don't buy these stocks because in a month they will go down, or buy this property and this and then he's, then we say, such a wise man, he foresee what's going to happen, you know, whatever he says, it, it happens exactly. But that is the wisdom that Allah gives to whomever he chooses. He gives wisdom to whom he wills. Well, this wisdom is all about recognizing Allah. Not only worldly knowledge, you know. He gives wisdom to whom he wills. Javeria, let's pray to Allah. May Allah select us among those whom he gives wisdom. And whoever has given the wisdom, he has been blessed because we always count the riches. Not the wisdom. And none will remember except those of understanding. You know? Amen, amen. So, so, let's pray as we prayed. We have prayed that may Allah give, choose us among whom He gives hikmah, wisdom, and make us realize that the hikmah which is given to us is best, is the best thing Allah has given to us. 
you know. Awesome. Then we go to the other uh, verse. When you put them together, these were so beautiful. You put together, uh, the best song like Tahun Oh Kimat Oh Kimat Ayatu. So if you want this, then inshallah we will ha have to connect to the uh, ayahs which are detailed for us. Subhanallah from the Indeed. And then here Allah Taala says, you know, if we go just from the Surah Al Baqarah, it's the complete ayat wa qalat al yahud la isat al nasara la shay wa qalat al nasara la isat al yahud la shay wa hum yatluna al kitab and the jews say the, uh, the the jews say the christians have nothing to stand on and the christians say the jews have nothing to stand on although they both read the scripture they both read they both had the books you know thus the uh, <coughs> polytheist uh, speaks the same as their words, you know, but Allah will judge, be judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which we used to differ. In everything, they are on the things, and we think that we are do doing this uh, uh, right thing, like in every mosque and every masjid and every institute, everybody is thinking they are doing the right thing. But, you know, we should pray to Allah that whatever Allah we are doing is according to our limited knowledge and wisdom which you have given to us. May he forgive us, you know, because he says he will, the final judgment will be done on the day of resurrection. On the day of resurrection. So I always say don't try to convince someone that you are wrong. Always try to convince yourself to be on the right path. We waste our energy on convincing uh, to prove that someone is wrong. How can we determine that? How can we? So Allah says, Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection. And all concerning that over which they used to This is beautiful that today is in trying to prove the other person wrong, whether it be a marriage, whether this is groups of Muslims and Muslims, whether it's like a mosque to mosque and things like that. Although the strife should have been to, uh, you know, strive to learn and uh, go towards the right path ourselves. And, uh, you know, it's like my father always would say, like, do your best and leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why? Because mm -hmm. he is al hakam and he will judge uh, at the end of the day who was right and who was wrong. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So as we go to the another verse of the Noble Quran, Allah says, "Inna Allah ya urukum antau tulamana tila liha wa ida hakam tum baina nasi antah kumu bil adil." Indeed, Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are. And when you judge between people, to judge with justice. Such a big responsibility. And you know, Javeria, I'm not a judge. You're not a judge. <laughs> then we think, where are we judging? Where are we judging? You know? judging. We are not in a courtroom. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, but then we our judging starts, is, you know, as, a, as mothers, no. it starts from <laughs> right in the beginning. Yeah. Big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, among our children, among our friends, you know, with our own soul, we are judging, you know, what we are doing with that. You know, are we fair to ourselves or not? Because in the Quran, the sin is known as zulm. The zulm, you know, you are transgressing against yourself. You are not just judging good with you, you know. So, <clears throat> Whenever you, it comes, you know, it, sometimes it can happen also. Two friends come to you and bring some case, you know. Can you please decide? You be, you be the judge. We are choosing you the judge. So be careful when you train people to judge with justice, which is very important, you know. Actually, Deen is not the name of only doing five prayers and uh, doing uh, fasting and uh, hygiene. These are the pillars on which the whole building stands. And everything judge and every all hikamat, all things that uh, comes, then all together makes a beautiful iman that will take us to heaven. So one of the like a chandelier, one of the uh, order is hakam, 
when you judge between people <coughs> do judge with justice and then as we move on and see another verse of the noble quran so it's a, it's a action item market town and in surah maida the two three verses come together and this is one of them you know i will وَكَتَبْنَا عَلَيْهِ فِيهَا أَنَّ النَّفْسَ بِالنَّفْسِ وَالْعَيْنَ بِالْعَيْنِ وَالْعَنْفَ بِالْعَنْفِ وَالْعَنْفَ بِالْعَنْفِ وَالْأُذْنَ بِالْأُذْنِ وَالسِّنَّ بِالسِّنِّ وَجُرُوهَا فَسَاسِ And we ordain for them a life for life, an eye for an eye, a nose for a nose, an ear for an ear. A tooth for a tooth and for wounds is legal retribution. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ But whoever gives, uh, 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 فَمَنْ I missed a ayat, فَمَنْ تَصَدَّقَ بِهِ فَهُوَ كَفَارَةُ اللَّهُ But whoever gives up his right as charity, it is an expiation for him. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ And whoever does not judge بِمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ By what Allah has revealed. فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ ثَالِمُونَ Then it is the one who are the wrong to us here Allah is not talking about any Jew or any Christian or anyone it is only about justice it is those who are the zalimun the wrong to us yeah, it's just so, like you know it, I feel like the visualization somebody is standing in the middle of the road and taking mm-hmm. traffic and mm. if they don't, if they have not learned to do it properly, then what will happen? Like, you know, that will be such yeah. a wrong thing to do and it will eventually end to accidents. So this first verse exactly. that you started with was so beautiful that this is this book which has, uh, you know, the, 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 the which has all the instructions from the Hakim. And look at that, how much detail there is even in this, mm. uh, the matter of Qasas, Qasas you know. So, uh, subhanallah, Allah protect us from this wrongdoing when we start as subject experts without even having the correct knowledge of the book. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant this guidance. Indeed. So, subhanallah. Indeed. Indeed. Subhanallah. You're right. And then in other words, Allah says, you know, Allah has, uh, it is uh, Surah Maida, verse 44. And uh, Allah says, we send out the Torah in which was guidance and light. The Prophet who submitted to Allah judged by it for the Jews, you know, as if the rabbis and scholars, but what with which they were entrusted of the scripture of Allah, they were witness there too. So Allah says, فَلَا تَخْشَوُ النَّاسَ وَخْشَوَنِ وَلَا تَشْتَرُ بِآيَاتِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا so do not fear the people, but fear me and do not exchange my verses for, for a small price. Again, And whoever does not judge what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the disbelievers. Just think about it. We know whom we call disbelievers. And Allah says, <coughs> Who do not judge, even if we are not judging amongst our children, amongst our family. That's what we judge amongst, you know. We are not the judge of any kind. But if we choose to put that aside and then, you know, use mm-hmm. our own intellect to make decisions, then that's definitely like denying, you know, what Allah has mm-hmm. Today we see that in, in our events, in our functions, in our cultural ways of our living. SubhanAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. We are, we are so worried in pleasing people that we forget about pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all together. Allah. Mm-hmm. So, and here in the, another verse, they are all from, from Surah Maida. It says, وَلْيَحْكُمْ أَهْلُ الْإِنْجِيلِ بِمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ فِي and let the people of the gospel judge but by what Allah has revealed therein. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ And whoever does not judge but by what Allah has revealed, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ Then it is those who are definitely disobedient. So what we read, فَاسِقُونَ So it's a... Uh, Realize more than ever that we need to invest our time in what has been anzalullah, what has been sent by Allah mm-hmm. 
so that we are mm -hmm. leader of all three of these categories, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful, right? And then I, another, you know, action item where we can learn what we have to do, how we have to do. And if there should be a group among you who has believed in that which I have been sent, and a group that has not believed. So what should you do? Trust, be patient. Be patient. Hatta till when? Yeah. And he's the best of judges. Best of judges. Once we, we believe and we, you know, we stand by it, everything becomes easy in our life. Yeah. Everything. And we look at the whole Meccan period of the Prophet and 13 years, you know, they are just holding, mm -hmm. Allah, they are just waiting, you know, subhanAllah, <laughs> they are just being patient until Allah's, you know, judgment is coming. Today we accept and we learn three things and we start passing judgment ourselves and then subhanAllah. Uh, you know, we, we are not even tested and tried the way they were tested and tried in their families, but yet, you know, mm -hmm. we haste in that. So this is for all who has found the right path and who is on the right path. Then inshallah, be patient uh, because, um, and be patient and be persistent. Then Allah subhanahu wa will definitely open ways and he is the best of judges. Uh, he will decide. Even yes. Nobody is agreeing there. Indeed. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. So he's our Rabb who is the Khairul Hakimin. And then his servants have returned to Allah, the true Lord. Allah lahul hukmu wa huwa asrawul hasibin. Unquestionably, his is the judgment. His is the judgment. And he is the swiftest of accountants. Subhanallah. One of the scene of of judgment, we all will be returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All, all, we all are his servants. Remember, we are disobedient to anyone, anywhere. Allah, lahul hukm. He, his is the judgment. No one else can judge. How can anyone judge? To know, to judge something, you know, you, you need to know the facts. Yeah, you can think of a whole scene in which the judge is there and the allegations are being passed and there are you know, witnesses and there are proofs and support. Mm -hmm. People can you know, change and mislead and misguide as well, but Allah SWT is the swiftest of accountants. So nothing will go unnoticed from his uh, dominion. So SubhanAllah, from his uh, radar, may Allah SWT help us uh, that we are able to leave the matters to his justice, inshallah. I mean, so many. So, as is the judgment. So, as we move ahead and, you know, understand more about al-hakam, al-hukum, and it is, hukum is from here too, and hikmat is from here too, and hakam is from <coughs> here too. And here also Allah says, وَاسْفِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ فَإِنَّكَ بِعَيُّنِنَا بِعَيُّنِنَا <coughs> special, sorry, special instructions to Prophet Muhammad. But whatever instructions are given to him, through him are given to us and reveal in the Noble Quran. And be patient for the decision of your Lord. Patience is the key, you know. And what to do in the meantime? How to get be patient and what to do as being patient, you know. And exalt Allah with praise of, you, of your Lord when you arise. When you arise, like praise Him, praise the judge, and patiently be patient. Because when we do everything now, well, He said, He says, Was well, be patient. And you indeed are in the eyes of your, uh, in Allah's eyes. We all are. Is anything hidden from him? This verse gives you such satisfaction. For indeed you are in our eyes. And I think of all this miserable injustice being done, um, you know, and thinking of this 
lady they have in the in the streets and then think about all those people who have been killed and brutally slaughtered in the name of terrorism and things like that isn't it amazing that this name of allah al hakam has the meaning of sami as well basir as well mm-hmm. uh, the somebody who's watching and somebody who is completely alim and khabir all these come inside this but this word is like yeah. so beautiful we are unina like you are yes in in our eyes so then we we stop trying to please others or trying to you know sometimes we want to be in front of somebody else's eyes to make our to win our case right <laughs> you know think of friend and lamb and my things like that or a child trying to please a parent but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying everything that you are in, in our eyes subhanallah mm-hmm. indeed so let's so this is our lot you know and uh, as we go ahead we see we'll pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al hakam ta charge oh allah al hakam we believe that you are the perfect judge aid us to adhere to all your legislations in our lives make us of those who are just towards all and stand up for the truth protect us from the injustice of others adorn us in your all times let us be just and honest in our speech actions and all that we do amen samami so i mean this was so incredible even the last word sometimes you know people are genuinely due for a promotion but somebody else is promoted in front, instead of you why because your efforts did not come to the limelight they were not seen by the others but uh, subhanallah nothing goes to waste in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the al hakam so uh-huh. after knowing al hakam uh, inshallah uh, we'll walk away with some key pointers looking at these ayahs that we need to trust al hakam at all times as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the al hakam's judgment so even if people are un- unjust we will get our justice from al hakam yeah, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in in the quran and he says um, you know tawattabi ma yuha ilayka wasbir hatta yahkum allah wa huwa khayr al hakimin follow what has been revealed to you and be steadfast until allah's judgment comes he is the best of judges so what do we have to do we instead of despairing uh-huh. we just have to follow what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down for us and uh, trusting the justice of allah hakam we should be motivated to do good deeds because no matter what we do we will find the um, reward for that if somebody does a good deed they find 10 times a reward for that if somebody does a bad deed there will be a similar uh, sin which will be written for that person there so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us that we do not lose our motivation just because we are not being served justice we we stop being good allah protect us from that down for and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us motivate ourselves to take each chance to do a good deed uh, benefit from our health our wealth our free time by using them wisely and leaving all these disputes to al hakam and always keeping allah up to protect us from all forms of injustice I mean I mean yarabil alamin so if we are made the judge uh, we should be you know relying on Quran and sunnah for the guidance in all the matters not like what's happening around uh, not what is the norm what people think of earlier like we were talking about even the sighting of the moon um, you know not just because a certain group has said something we go back to the Quran and hadith and we refer back to every matter take it back to the sunnah and see how we need to move up for that inshallah and remembering al hakam we stand up for truth you know this this really is so beautiful that when we remind ourselves that we will stand before al hakam one day uh, to be judged by him it gives us this motivation and it helps us towards the right world so our best but uh, our actions speak the otherwise may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correct us in all our matters and uh, this is a beautiful beautiful dua that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say in dua istifta which is the opening of the prayer and uh, subhanallah this is so amazing and incredible that he would um, you know even in the prayer in the beginning um, you know he is calling out to allah the lord of jibril mikail and israfil alaihi salam and the creator of the heavens and the earth knower of the unseen and the evident right alhamdulillah and then he's 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 reminding he's saying you will settle the matters with your servants differ in 
So again, there will be a difference of opinion. There will be disputes. There will be trials, tribulations, and uh, we can only ask Al Hakam to guide us uh, with his consent to the truth in what they differ. And indeed, Allah guides whomever He will. Start. This dua, this beautiful dua in your life. Let's say it with full consciousness that Allahumma urabba Jibra'ila wa Mika'ila wa Isra'ila. فاطر السماوات والأرض عالم الغيب والشهادة أنت تحكم بين عبادك فيما كانوا فيه يختلفون اهدني لما اختلف فيه من الحق بإذنك إنك تهدي من تشاء إلى صراط مستقيم and saying this, you can feel the tranquility that descends in your heart. Like, especially these words, Anta tahkuma bayna ibadik. Allah, you decide the matters. You judge what he thinks. So you leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's court. And uh, live your life in a light way. So how many of us are willing to let it go? How many of us are letting to leave it in the hands of the best of the best who is the best of this decision maker who is the best of the arbitrator and who misses on nothing so inshallah if we want from today onwards we can pledge that we will add this this beautiful beautiful dua to our daily life and leave all the matters all the matters to the court of al hakam this does not mean that you can allow people to bully you this does not mean that you can not raise uh, you know uh, your voice against injustice but uh, it means that you take your reliance to the ultimate Allah al-Hakam, inshallah. So this is so beautiful. It takes away so much. I personally find so much strength in this dua of the Prophet Sallallahu And we're all very familiar with Surah Al-Shura, verse number 83, and then 84, 85. Beautiful, beautiful dua that we find to ask Allah to grant us hukam. And uh, this is so simple. If you cannot memorize like longer duas, start with these smaller duas. Just ask al-Hakam. To proceed when we, by saying Rabbi Habili Hukman. So this Habili is like gift me. It's like a huge gift. Like, you know, we talked about that whoever is given Hikmah is given Khair al Kathira. And asking Allah that will help me with Salihin and join us with the righteous. SubhanAllah. And once you have gotten that, you can ask the next portion of that too. That Allah SWT wajali lisan asipkin filakhirin. Grant me a repetition of honor among later generations. Wajalni min waratati jannatin naeem. And uh, place me among the inheritance of the gardens of, of pleasure. And uh, just like Ibrahim alayhi salam asking, uh, you know, forgiveness. And then, wala tughzini yawma yubasun. And do not disgrace those wills are places in this dunya, but will be disgraced on the day of judgment. May Allah protect us from such an ending. So, such a short and simple dua. Make an intention right now to include it in your life and teach it to your children and your families. That Rabbi Habli. And we see um, this is another, uh, you know, before we leave for today, uh, we all recite uh, Surah Al-Teen, Alhamdulillah, in our Salah. And uh, the last verse talks about, Allah asks the question, is not Allah the most just of judges? So now, knowing that Allah is al hakam He is the best of judge, our response should align with the response of the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, he, uh, from him we get the narration that Rasulullah Sallallahu would respond to this and he would sometimes say, Subhanakallah wa bala and ana ala dhalika min shahideen um, Glory be to Allah and no doubt he this here, this you can see the transliteration that it is Minash Shahideen. So, Alhamdulillah, may Allah SWT make us of those who are witness that yes, Allah is the most judge of judges. Even if his judgment is not apparent right now in this dunya, apparently we see some misery. Apparently, even we see some people on the right being mistreated, um, not served well. The justice will prevail um, eventually. May Allah SWT make us of those who are from the Shahideen in this dunya and those who will bear witness on the Day of Judgment as well. Ameen. Ameen.
Alhamdulillah. So definitely teach this to your children as well. Whenever you recite Surah Al-Teen and you come across this question, then I respond in the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Subhanakallahu wa bala ana ala zalika min al-shahibin. Amin. Rabbil Alameen. And this, uh, you know, this was so beautiful, Sitabasam, as we were reflecting. Yeah. There are 210 mm -hmm. verses, each one so beautiful when it comes to Al-Hakam. But the ending of Surah Al-Anbiya, after all the prophets and their messages and what they had to go through, they, the final dua, which is coming towards the end, and Allah SWT, my Lord, judge between us in truth. And our Lord is the most merciful, the one whose help is sought against that which you describe. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So, Ameen, yes. So may Allah SWT help us live a light life, knowing that Al-Hakam is there. We are in front of his eyes, right? Ya Yunina, such comfort. <laughs> SubhanAllah. And he's there. May Allah SWT enable us to internalize that Allah is Al-Hakam, the judge, the giver of justice, the arbitrator. And he's the one who always delivers justice in every situation to everyone. And he never wrongs anyone and is never oppressive. He is the only true mm -hmm. judge and no one can overturn his judgment and no one can ever appeal his decree. You know, if he wants, he can just make one simple virus, you know, there to make everybody submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But sometimes his judgment is delayed till the time of judgment and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who are able to appreciate that and, uh, you know, able to call out to him in all kinds of happiness and in all times of trials and tribulations as well. So, Jazakumullah khair, Asim Jazak to all five viruses. So, saying the dua together, Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Awal asr inna ninsana lafi khusm illa alladheena amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. Jazakumullah khair kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.